Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Michael Ricketts says his work spoke for itself as he was re-elected as JFF president, turning back the challenge of Raymond Anderson 39 to 17 at Sunday's voting congress in Nigril, Westmoreland. Ricketts, who was being challenged by Anderson, says despite the utterances of his detractors, his team put the work in to be successful at the polls. We did a lot of work. We are deserving of it. We want to just stay focused. We want to stay humble. We have a massive repair job to do because the football was brought into disrepute a multiplicity of times. Ricketts will now serve another four years in which his tenure will end in 2028. His four vice presidents are Elaine Walker-Brown, Gregory Daly, Raymond Grant and Barry Watson, while the two ordinary members are Rudolph Speed and Bruce Gaynor with the Confederation chairman being Sheridan Samuels, Patrick Malcolm, Errol Stevens and Mark Bennett. A doubleheader at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex is on the cards as action returns to the J Ray and Nevew Jamaica Premier League today. Now, after failing to claim top spot in the standings due to a loss at the hands of defending champions Mount Pleasant, Cavalier will battle Portmore United in the curtain raiser. The match starts at 5 p.m. Portmore United are in fourth, just three points behind Cavalier, who are in second on 45 points. In the late encounter, Arnett Gardens will battle Humble Lion. The Junglists are in a three-way tie on 42, along with Portmore United and Tivoli Gardens, and they have an opportunity to jump to second in the standings. That match kicks off at 7.30 in the evening. Games continue on Wednesday as matches were suspended on Sunday due to the JFF Voting Congress. Now, Jamaica's women will look to make it two from two when they battle their Guyanese counterparts in their second match of the T20 Blaze competition tomorrow. Jamaica's women defeated Winwood Island's women by seven wickets in their opening game on a Sunday. Set 118 for victory, Jamaica got to their target in 16 overs for the loss of three wickets. Rashada Williams top scored with 52. Stefani Taylor was left unbeaten on 16. Earlier, the Winwood's women batting first posted 117 for five of their 20 overs. Kiana Joseph top scored with 56, while Janelia Glasgow made 37. Chadeen Nation took 3 for 19 for Jamaica's women. And Hillel Prep won the boys section and St. Hughes Prep won the girls category at the Maybury Prep and Primary Swim Meet at the National Aquatic Centre this past weekend. Hillel topped the boys section tallying 243 points to finish ahead of St. Peter and Paul who finished second with 188 and Mona Prep third with 176. On the girls' side, it was much closer as St. Hughes only edged Hillel by a single point. St. Hughes scored 192 points to Hillel's 191, with Mona ending third with 162. St. Hughes's Kai Lawson stamped her class at the meet, winning five gold medals, including breaking the age group record in the 50 meter backstroke. I feel very happy and proud of myself. I expect getting um, a lot of medals from all my events, especially gold. And, uh, and I think I'll be also breaking records. Uh, Lawson is set to be off to the Curve to Championships from March 28 to April 7 in the Bahamas. And uh, that's it for your midday sports. Ashane? Thanks, Jordan. And that's the midday news. I'm Ashane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.